Let me turn off my news radio here. Alexa, stop that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to channel 48. Yep, second video for today. Previous one, I, I, yeah, I didn't want to post it. It was a video that I created three months ago. But the people keep asking how to how to install Android 14 to the Redmi Note 7. And yeah, I can understand. I can see that, you know, if I look at my subscription list, I see many new subscribers as well, guys with big channels. So big up to you all, all you channel holders uh, as well, subscribe to my channel. I never knew, you never introduced yourself, you're shy to talk. Be free, feel free to talk, okay? Introduce yourself so I can as well get to know you. And maybe we can do something for each other, help promote each other a bit. You know, we, we will need that in the coming time. Anyway, so I explained it, you need the build from OneDroid first. The very first build, format data, boom, uh, install that rom it's a rom ported rom and after you install that one you can then do upgrades and at a certain moment you can even do a clean install as i showed on my redmi note 7 that is running uh, beta 5.1 it's still in the race it's still going this phone made me very proud but we're not going to talk about this phone because we spoke about it in the previous video already Let's look at the 121S. This phone as well made me proud. Eh? It made me proud because uh, yeah, we're running as well. Android 14 on it and yeah, everything is looking very good until now. I'm using this as my daily sleep phone. This thing, let me fall asleep, plays radio for me. I have a built-in robot, I can talk to this thing. It's a very smart device. So, um, what we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna upgrade some of my devices. Yeah, <laughs> again, Android 14, some of you will think. But yeah, it's about the next operating system. And uh, yeah, if you cannot run it, then get a device that is supported, that can do so. All right, so the Redmi Note 7, we will as well upgrade. Uh, we will upgrade my Galaxy S10. I hope it has enough battery. Let me see. It should, it should. It should. Yeah. 45%. Mm. I must sneeze. I cannot sneeze. Um, let me see. What more do we have? We can as well upgrade. No, we will not upgrade this one. This one cannot be upgraded. This one is still running stock and Android 14 on top of stock with thanks to DSU side loader. So let me put you on the tripod again and let's promote Nippon Beta 5. I'm saying 5.3. I don't know where I got that 3 from, but it's 5.2 even though I say 5.3. 5.3 was released uh, last night, midnight, this morning. So for you guys, you're standing up and there is your new build with new improvements. And that with thanks, of course, to Basha Google. So as well, big up to Basha Google. Basha means boss Google. All right, so let me put you on the tripod. Where's my tripod here? Boom, let's go. After downloading the GSI, you will unpack it. If you just hit unpack, it will be unpacked to the folder that the GZ file was in. In my case, download folder. Okay. And let's just go to my download folder. Downloads. There you go. The image is here on top. So, you know what, let me copy all the images to the phone and then we're gonna get started with a triple install. In 
recovery mode. There we go. Uh, I will not do anything because the last video, and that was some days ago, that I showed the beta 5.1. Um, that one was installed clean. Oh no, this is not. <laughs> Did I say beta? Beta 5.3? I meant 5.2. Sorry, uh, apologies for that, peeps. <laughs> I'm losing it. You see that? Here are the new updates. They were released some hours ago by Nippon. So, thank you very much, my brothers there at Nippon. Nippon development team, thank you. All right. So, not to make this video very long, we're going to do a, a triple install. Okay, of Android 14. So, we can cover three devices in this video. Because in my next video, I need to spend some time on the older devices, the tablets, and so the P4 users and P5 users, Espresso Wi Fi users, 3G users, the T310, 11, and 315 users. These will all get a nice build to play with again. All right. So, um, the next phone that I as well want to upgrade, that will be this phone. And let me think, how was it again? Um, I think it was volume down and... Oh, wait. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. This phone is running I don't know if this will go but we can try we can try reboot restart volume up I think it was eh? this phone yeah the 810 was volume down this is volume up this should bring us in a recovery Yes. Okay, let's wait for the drive to pop up. <coughs> this does not look encrypted to me. So we're gonna just put that one here. To the internal storage of the A21S. So this will be an upgrade on top of a, a GSM build from Google. Okay, and in fact, I wanted. Uh, in fact, I wanted. I wanted uh, a GSM build again as an upgrade for this phone. As you can see, this is powered by the Kawa kernel. This twerp. So I hope that this will go good. It could be that this update will go wrong. DJ Johan, door op internet. Hold on, let me see what this guy is saying to me. So there we are with three phones that we're gonna update to Android 14 latest. Let's start with, with the S10, install the GSI, and we're gonna go for the Pixel Beta 5.2, 
as a system image is being installed. We do no wipe because, oops, wrong this one here. Um, oh, wait a minute. System image. Ah, I saw super system. I did not see the system. <coughs> I was like, hey, what happened to my system? And up here, pixel beta 5.2, as well as a system image boom. And there we go. And we're gonna boot them together. So we're gonna wait for this one to finish. These two. All right, installed, reboot, 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 system. We must bypass the bootloader. Unlock the bootloader, warning. And there we go. Let's see who's gonna boot. Okay, Redmi is booted. S10 is booted up. And the A21S. Okay, S10 arrived. What's the fastest one from the mall? This one takes very long before it's gonna start. If it's gonna start. I remember I had to press something here. What did I do the other day? Suddenly it started booting. Oh, I don't hope I break my <laughs> A21S. Let's give it some time. I remember last time it took very long to boot. The S10 is nicely updated to Android 14 beta. And there we go. What did I tell you? <laughs> Android 14. Here we can see it. Uh, where is the B3? Somewhere here we should be able to see it. Uh, 14 pixel 5. Yeah, I cannot see where it's saying beta 5.2. But this is beta 5.2. Pixel 5. This one is not booting. Oh, it booted. <laughs> when I start downloading the device, it's booted up so nicely. Look at that, peeps. Boom. Are we there? It's setting up, of course. Look at that. Damn. As well updated. So, yeah, guys. And the big question is, can we reboot the devices? Will they come back to the system? That's what we're gonna see now.
Redmi. And if the SIM card is not working for the Redmi, then I'm terribly sorry. I'm using my Redmi not to make phone calls. I don't even have a SIM card in it, so yeah. It could be because uh, Z is saying that in some way it's not uh, working, the SIM card. So if it's not, then yeah, you don't have to upgrade your Redmi Note 7. But as you can see, no reboot problems at all. Okay, it works good. Only the A21S takes very long. The, the boot delay is very long. So when the other phones are already booted, oh yeah, <laughs> it booted up without showing a boot animation and there it was, boom. Or did it even show a boot animation, can't remember, no. We were immediately there, instantly. So this is a very fast phone, eh? this one here. So what is working, what is not working? Yeah, you can go test yourself, peeps. You know, I mean, like, I think the most important things work. Why should they not work? They worked before. You know, they worked before, so why, why should they not work? Here we go. One more. Hey. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Look at that, peeps. Nicely, nicely installed, upgraded my, um, yeah, my three phones here. This one I will not upgrade, okay? Because this is a different kind of install. This is as well Android 14, but this is a DSU install and DSU won't work uh, yeah, with upgrading. If I'm gonna go into a recovery, it's gonna boot into Samsung. I don't even have a recovery on this thing. This, this phone has no twerp, it's not rooted. It's just a uh, bootloader unlocked. And that's why it can as well uh, be part of the DSU side load family. I think that this video is long enough. I think you can uh, go and find out for yourself how it all works, but I upgraded to 5.2 beta. It's been released this morning, last night, 12 o'clock midnight Dutch time. So yeah, check it out or no, six o'clock this morning, this, yeah, this morning, six o'clock Dutch time. It was released around midnight in the United States. So big up again to Google. Thank you so much for this beautiful, be beautiful build. And um, yeah, you'll be seeing me in the next video again. Keep subscribing, leave a thumbs up for this video and uh, yeah, check me out in the next one.